today I'm going to be showing you how to use torrent clients and also download torrent files to use with the torrent client but I'm going to go through that as the video goes on so every now and again I'll have people asking me how do I download particular things and there's particular things we can download using torrent files now the legality of this is pretty much misunderstood a lot of people will say it's illegal it's illegal no absolutely not there's actually legitimate sources out there who will distribute torrent files so we can download free stuff but we're going to go through that so first of all we're going to have a quick discussion on torrent clients so a torrent client is going to be the software to download the torrent files and one that i actually recommend is this one just here this is Tuxati. now of course you've got uTorrent and other mainstream torrent clients but personally i think this is probably one of the best out there so what we're going to do first of all is download this from windows and this is absolutely free you don't need to pay for this and we're going to go for the 64-bit normal in store just here so if we just left click on this one we're just going to wait a few seconds for this now, in my case, this has been blocked because that's just the way Google Chrome is for me. But we're going to download unverified file. So on my desktop, I've now got the setup file for the torrent client. So if I double left click on this one. And we're going to go to continue. And yes, continue installation. Now, first of all, what we need to do is give this a location. So everything we download is going to go to a particular place. Now, by default, this is going to go into my C drive program files folder. I don't want to actually put it there. I'm going to set this to go onto my desktop. So we're going to install everything into a new folder on desktop. So right click, go down to new folder. And I'm going to call this one Tixati. And I'm likely butchering that name but we're going to put everything inside of this folder. So if we go to change and we're going to go up to find desktop and we're going to search for that folder I've just created. And here it is, Tetsati. If I press OK, and what we're going to do next is leave everything there to default. So we're not going to uncheck anything. We're going to go to install and we're just going to wait for this to do its work. Okay, so everything's now been installed. And if we look inside of that Tetsati folder, here we go. So we got a few files in there and we've also got our desktop shortcut. Okay, so we're going to press exit for now. And now everything's been installed. We can now delete the installation exe that we've downloaded. And here we go. So what we're going to do then is now open up to Tati for the first time. Okay, so we're going to read through the terms and conditions. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to press I agree. Next thing we need to do is create a quick username. So I'm going to backspace and call this just Jamie for the example. And under downloads folder, we now need to give a directory for our downloads to go into. Now I'm going to actually set this for my folder, which I've just created where those few contents went into after installing. So I'm going to left click on the folder and we're going to look for the folder which I've created on my desktop and here it is so i'm now going to press ok and next up i'm going to go to continue and this is going to open up the torrent client itself so all we need to do now really is grab some torrent files so i'm going to show you how to add them and download things so first up we got linux mint and of course we can actually download this as a torrent file as we can see just here torrent download 64 bit Okay, and on my desktop, we now have the Linux Mint torrent file. So all we need to do to actually download this file is just go to add. And from add, we can now point it to where that torrent file is. So it's on my desktop. And here it is just here, Linux Mint Cinnamon. Double left click. And as we can see, this is now just going to give us a confirmation of where this is going to download to. And as I set this up to download inside of my Tizati folder, we can now go to start. And as you can see, it's now got the correct size of the Linux Mint file itself, which is 2.98 gigabyte. And just here, we got a download speed. So at the moment, it's going fairly slow. But as time goes, that's going to build up just like it's doing right now. And it's also going to tell us how long this torrent has actually got to download. So in this case, it's fluctuating between three to five minutes. But if we go to the Zati folder where this is downloading to, as we can see, 
we're now getting the image, the ISO of Linux Mint. Now, what I'm going to do as another example is go over to the Commodore OS website and I'm going to download the Commodore OS free torrent. So again, this is another Linux operating system. If I just download the torrent, and here we go. So if I just left click on the Commodore OS Vision, this is going to open up the torrent client again. And as we can see, we're now going to download this one too. And again, just like Linux Mint, it's going into the same destination folder. So just press start. And here we go, Commodore OS Vision 3 is now downloading. And Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition is almost downloaded. It can be that quick. Okay, so Linux Mint is now been downloaded. So what I can do is right click on the file. If I just go to remove just to clear it. Now, if I go back into my downloads folder, and here we go, I've now got a complete copy of Linux Mint. This is it, so I can do whatever I want with this right now. And I can just put that onto a USB stick and go into BIOS settings and then boot up Linux Mint. And that's it for today's video and downloading torrents. This question has been asked over and over again since I've been doing my channel. And it really is that simple. And like I said at the start of the video, there's different torrent clients around. But really, I think Tizati, which I've likely butchered the name several times at this point in this video, it's probably my favorite and it's the most reliable. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.